hello and welcome back to her courage to plan in today's video i've got to close out our paycheck budget number one for the month of march now if you missed our paycheck budget number one setup i'll go ahead and leave it linked up above and you can go back and check it out and our paycheck budget number one runs from March the 1st all the way through March the 11th. Now before I close out our paycheck budget number one, I just wanted to remind you all again that each Friday in March, I will be releasing new items that I am marking down 50% off for the weekend. It is my birthday month guys, and I just wanted to celebrate all month long and really just put a new spin on March Madness for us. So by the time you see this video, probably a little bit later on in the day, I will drop the next items that we will go ahead and mark 50% off. And the sale will last, of course, from Friday all the way through Sunday. So this is our second sale that we're having. And the first sale, guys, we did no spins, and I'm telling you, you all went ham. So I am grateful for your support. My family is grateful for your support, guys. So you all are awesome. So again, if you are wanting those rock bottom prices, guys, this is once a year. So this does not come around often. It really does not. So again, make sure you check out the Etsy shop. I do have the link down below. And you know, snack you some goodies, guys. So let's go ahead and get right into closing out paycheck budget number one. All right, guys, we are at paycheck budget number one worksheet. And right here, what you see, I introduced this in the monthly budget. I am so, so honored that Tasha with Mind Your Money, she sent me this as a birthday gift. And she also sent me a card, guys. So the card, isn't it lovely? It is just beautiful. I mean, everything is coordinating, guys. It really is. And she is just such a jewel. Now, I'm not gonna read the card because this is really personal. I mean, she is just amazing, guys. She really is. So I got this for my birthday and I'm just all giddy inside. I really am. So let me go ahead and close out. Now, for our paycheck budget number one, um, remember, Hubs is the only one that had a paycheck direct deposited to this joint household account during this time frame. And we were planning 1462 and 1462 was deposited. And then for our giving, we planned 308 and $308 was given. And that is tithing off of our gross income. And then when we get down here to our expenses, of course our mortgage, that was the same. Netflix came in at $17.99. Our internet is at the $83.93. Of course, YouTube is at the $11.99. Car registration, because um, one of our car registrations is due this month. So that came in at $21. And you all know for the groceries, I didn't plan anything for the groceries because um, Hub's job gave him a uh, gift card. So we were so honored and so happy that we were able to get that gift card and use it toward our groceries for uh, this here time period and we didn't go over the gift card amount we actually still have a little bit of money left on it so we didn't have to use any extra money out of our actual paycheck so that was awesome and then when we get to house supplies now our house supplies we did spend 17 dollars and 24 cents you see we had allocated 50 dollars and then for our gas, now I did go ahead and get gas and it did come in at $23. And then the buffer, we didn't use the buffer, meaning we didn't have anything unexpected to come up um, during this here uh, time frame. Now, let me go ahead and fill in these here uh, savings and then we'll total everything. So emergency fund, we did plan to set aside $60.85 and that was done pets they got their $50 because they get $50 per month son's tuition that $150 was deposited and then we did put our $100 into the vacation fund so of course that 360 that was planned 360.85 that was set aside and then when we get down here to the extra debt we had $31.24 planned to set aside out of paycheck budget number one and we did so now I can go ahead and get these totals in for our expenses. 
and that way we can see exactly how much we do have remaining from paycheck budget number one. We know we've got some money left, we just don't know exactly how much. All right, so our expenses came in at $677.15. So that's awesome. Our expenses that were planned at $761.91, we came in much lower, so that is great. So down here in the paycheck budget overview, I can go ahead and just plug these numbers in. So for our actual income, it was $1,462. And then for our given, it was 308. Now our expenses came in at the 677.15 and the savings was the same at 360.85. No envelopes and the extra debt 3124 was the same. So crunching these numbers down at the bottom, we take 1462 minus 308 minus 677.15 minus the 360 85 and then minus $31 and 24 cents. All right guys, so we have $84 and 76 cents left out of paycheck budget number one, which is awesome. And we don't do anything with that money. It just stays in the account until we close out our overall monthly budget for the month of March. And we'll figure out, you know, how to divvy up any remaining funds. So that was pretty short and sweet guys. Our paycheck number one has gone really well and stay tuned because I've got to give you guys an update on the paycheck budget number two and of course we've still got to get our mid-month check done. This month here is kind of mirroring our paycheck budget number one and paycheck budget number two that we did in February because of the time frames and like I said I get paid on the 12th so we just started that as paycheck budget number two. But yeah, guys, all right, this is it. You already know the deal. I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, hey, hey.